we're going to start with the round nose plier and using the very tip of the plier. You're going to grab, I have a short piece of wire because it's much easier to use about a foot long, and I'm gonna grab the very tip of the wire and bend it around in a small loop. You're gonna see that the loop is lopsided to one side, so you can go back in and just tweak by moving your wrist a little bit over and you'll see that there's an opening, but it's on straight. This is straight to the circle. I'm gonna string my bead. I'm using these uh, green opal uh, natural stone beads, round. You can add as many beads here as you like or one-on-one -on -one will give you this really beautiful movement. Now I'm going to take the small round plier again and go very close to the stone. I don't want baggy movement here. And I'm gonna wrap the wire around the plier. Using the plier and pulling tight is gonna be a really important part of this technique. Now I'm gonna take my wire cutters and cut very close to the bead. Just snip right there and you're gonna see that it's open here and I can straighten it out and use my flat nose plier to close that jump ring. Straight up, like that. And you don't wanna to squeeze too hard and nick your metal, but you just wanna squeeze a little bit and close it up, tighten it up and straight, do any straightening now. And there you have it, our first little link to our chain. Second link, we're gonna start, um, sometimes you can also put the bead on first, which I like to do, and then you're gonna make your first hook on. And again, straighten it out so that it's straight and has an opening and everything is aligned and small. You wanna make everything the same thickness of the loop. I'm gonna string my first link and I'm gonna close it gently, just close it. So no wrapping going on here. And then we have our first little beautiful link. I'm gonna now take the plier, go very tight to the bottom of the bead and wrap the wire around, pull it tight, make sure it's aligned and small, everything the same size and snip. Close the jump ring and go to the third link. Here we go again. You can also use gold fill wire if you like. This is an affordable way to get a great gold look. And I'm going to make my loop. Go back in there, straighten it out hook it on, close it, and then I'll put the bead on the other side. The nice thing about this technique is you can kind of just zone out. And once you get it, you can start thinking about the next thing you're gonna make because this will take, you'll get quicker and quicker at it, which is the fun part. And next thing you know, you'll have a whole collection of jewelry with this simple chain technique. Here we go, so I'm gonna measure it and count out. These are gonna be a long earring. And here we go, just keep going until you have two equal length pieces. So now when you have your chain link, this is three inches long, which I think is very stylish. I'm going to add a larger bead on the bottom and my ear hook to the top. So this is the finishing part of the earring. I'm going to use these stones to add a little bit of weight and dimension to the bottom. Also the color is beautiful. This is Amazonite gemstone. I'm going to use two of those and I'm also going to mix in a little bit of pink opal to add a little pop of color. 
So you can layer out and line everything up and check out your design before stringing it. And now I'm going to go ahead and make this cluster out of the seam technique. But here we have the bottom, which we don't need such a big loop. So we're going to make a very tiny, uh, more of a crimp than a loop at the bottom. And I'm going to use my flat nose plier. I'm going to grab the end of the wire and just bend it in half. So this is not our jump ring. It is more of a crimp and it's closed. So instead of having a ball at the bottom, which we'll learn how to do later on in the course, we're just going to have this little bend in it and that will stop the small bead from going off without having a jump ring there. So I'm going to string these beads. I'm going to put the bottom one uh, lower and then taper up with the small one ending. And now we have a cluster. So, and then there's no hole at the bottom. It's just closed. Same technique. I'm going to wrap and make my jump ring, cut it. And link it to my chain at the bottom here and close the jump ring. Now, because you're not wire wrapping and going around each one over and over, you have a very neat and professional looking design that is going to be gorgeous on. And now let's put on our ear hook. So I'm just going to open the top one a little bit with my plier and I'm going to put on the ear hook here. Okay. And there you have it. Gorgeous, stylish, natural gemstone, sterling silver earring for your collection. Thanks so much for joining me in this class, making these beautiful gemstone sterling silver shoulder duster earrings. You can use this technique making any of your designs with any bead using the sterling silver hard wire and your basic tools. This is a great technique for making chains, necklaces, bracelets, and any length earring. Next time, we are gonna to learn to advance this technique by adding some unique stones and gathering some more materials to take this to the next level.